All right, so we're gonna make this quick this morning. We got a lot of stuff going on and we don't wanna be in our guys' way. So what we're doing here is uh, leveled struts on this new body style ram. We do that um, instead of doing the preload spacers because it just, yeah, it just rides better. I mean, there's no way to do it correctly without getting a, either a longer strut or adding that preload and it just makes it ride terrible if you do the preload spacer. So um, on to our next thing over here. Um, this gentleman's bought quite a few different things from us and he buys a new truck every about seems like six months to a year. Um, so we're, we took the cover off of his old truck that was just in here, we put it on his new truck and then this one is getting wheel well liners as well. So uh, stay tuned, check that one out. We just got finished up with uh, this truck that we were swapping covers over for this customer, but also doing rear uh, wheel well liners. So if you can see underneath here, from the factory, don't ask me why, but they don't put the wheel well liners in there. So that's definitely one of those things you just have to do, keeps everything a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. And then plus, uh, granted it's still a lot of it's aluminum, but you know, you don't want rocks flying up, making dents and all that sort of stuff. So definitely a must have on this truck. All right, we just got done with this Ram 1500 new body style um, that we did a leveling kit on. We like to do the longer struts versus the preload spacers because it's gonna ride like factory this way versus doing a preload, it ride, tends to ride uh, fairly rough. So uh, check it out, it's all done. The next day. You're in the way. All right, so this Tacoma back here, um, they got the guys started on it already. They're almost already done. Um, but we did the Rough Country Vertex coilovers in the front there with the adjustable reservoirs on it. In the rear, we added a ready lift block kit on there to get it to sit just the way that he wanted. Um, and then they are adding a Flowmaster uh, American Outlaw exhaust on there. So um, I think they're finishing up with it right now. So we'll see it when it gets down. One hour later. All finished up. We got the Tacoma here. Uh, like we said before, this thing got the Rough Country Vertex coilovers in the front with a ready lift rear block kit um, to kind of adjust it a little bit to account for that topper that's on the rear. And then we also did the Flowmaster Outlaw Series exhaust on there. But uh, I'll show you these Vertex coilovers. The cool thing about them is they got an eight speed adjustable reservoir on there to be able to help out with the dampening, which is right down in here. And, uh, and then with the exhaust that's on here as well, we'll show you a clip um, of the before sound and then what the after sound is. So it's definitely a pretty neat tone on there. Um, perfect for what this thing is. And uh, I think the customers are gonna be pretty happy with it. And as we were finishing up the Tacoma, uh, they just got finished with this guy here. So this one got a uh, ready or a rough country leveling kit on here. Um, but then we also did the uh, uh, strobe lights on the front that you can see here, universal strobe lights. And then we've got universal strobe lights in the rear, which I'll take you around and show you. So we've got the universal strobe here. And then we've also got the Putco work blade light underneath the tailgate. So we'll show you a quick clip of these things running. So what we got going on this morning is a Ram 2500 new body style with a diesel. We are doing a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a four inch a BDS lift with radius arms, dual ray coils, Fox shocks, all that stuff. 
Um, if you look over here, we got some fuel vapors, 20s, that we're wrapping in Iron Man's 37, uh, 1250 or 1350, I can't remember. But the only reason we're running these tires is because, well, one, there's no 37s out there, and two, they're the only 80 PSI tires that we can find. Um, and if anybody's listening right now, um, all the 37s out there, if there is any, um, which there's a big shortage of, um, they're all 65 PSI tires, which will set off the uh, TPMS sensors if it's not um, in that threshold of over about 70 PSI, if I'm not mistaken. So that's what we got going on this morning. So stay tuned, check it out. Big Red is out of the shop now, finally all done with this thing. This was, they, The guys made pretty quick work of this guy. So um, as Nate said earlier, this thing's got a BDS four inch lift kit on here with the Fox 2.0 shocks. And uh, it does have the BDS radius arms on there as well. Um, for wheels and tires, we did the 20 by nine fuel vapors and the DDT finish, which is that deep dark tint. Kind of gives it a nice little touch during the day when light hits it, but at night it looks black. Pretty slick look, with very popular finish. And then, like he said earlier, it's wrapped in the Ironman Country MTs. Um, not a tire that we run a lot of, um, to be completely honest. It's one of the um, lower price tires, um, and it reflects that, to be completely honest. Uh, but 37, 12, 50, 20s are one of the hardest tires sizes to find tires in right now. Uh, so we can't run a lot of what our typical ones would run, like the Toyos, the Nittos, um, Falcons. I mean, we're real hard to find stuff right now. So uh, this is kind of what we got left with on this one. I'm sure we'll probably be changing these out at some point once there's more availability that comes from it. So other than that, pretty good looking truck. I think this thing sits absolutely perfect for it. So not, not too big, not too small, just right. We got to do a real quick video this morning. We are just super, super busy. Got a lot of stuff going on. But real quick, this one just came out of the shop. It is a uh, half ton AT4 that we did a set of air, uh, Firestone airbags on the rear with an airlift compressor. Now, the reason why it looks so high in the back is we like to set them at about 90 PSI after they're done and check to see if there's any leaks. But really simple on these compressor units, you got a remote right here. You can have presets go up and down in pressure or you can use your phone to do it, it Bluetooths to it, pairs, super, super simple. So um, our next thing is this truck. This one's going in the shop. Um, he's just starting his build. Uh, we're doing uh, eventually lift wheels, tires, but today we're gonna start with a front bumper with a winch and lights, and then also a rear bumper. So stay tuned and check it out. So we made quick work of this Ram. We did iron cross bumpers on the rear and on the front. Um, we did put a 10,000 pound Warren VR winch inside of that and rough country fog lights, check it out. 